Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. It's a windy, blustery morning. We're in the middle of January 2021. So this is actually the first official camping excursion for 2021. We are headed north. We're going to go back across the Red River and we're going to go to a, a, an Oklahoma State Park that I've heard a lot about from the Sunset Seekers. Mike and Christy of the Sunset Seekers have spoken very highly of McGee Creek State Park. So I've got to go up there and confirm and verify their information. All right, so let's get on the road and head to McGee Creek State Park. Gee Creek State Park, Oklahoma. We made it. Man, I tell you what, I don't know if the, the driving footage is going to show it, but whew, that was windy. That's what you got to expect, though, in January, January 15, 2021. Site number two. Man, look how beautiful this park is. The Sunset Seekers were right. This is a beautiful place. It doesn't seem to be too busy this weekend either. So let's take a, lot, a look at site number two. First off, I love it. The site, the pad is concrete, it's flat. I mean, it was almost perfectly level. It is water and 30 amp, but <laughs> look at that! lakeside you got to be careful because of the rocks but i mean that's that's water access bit of a drop off and then there's no tire stop so you gotta gotta be mindful of that when you're backing in so we have a, a fire pit it's actually a big rock fire pit barbecue cooker the ubiquitous lantern hook I guess that's what those are for. Uh, and then we have a concrete picnic table. And it's fairly level here, so it's it's pretty easy for the for the old feet to navigate. All right. So, I guess we're, we're going to jump in the truck and we're going to go drive around and go see some stuff. McGee Creek State Park. Man, it is so windy. You don't have to have an RV and you don't have to sleep in a tent because they offer for your pleasure cabins or cottages as they call them. I don't know if they're open or not. Let's see. Nope. But they are sitting on the cliff. That's the lake. Man, it is just such a pretty country here. You gotta come see McGee Creek. All right, let's go see some more stuff. McGee Creek State Park. I was driving through the Patapo cabin loop. There's no restrooms in those cabins, which is not surprising, but what caught my attention was a change machine on the side of the bathroom. What the heck? Well, Fortunately, there's, there's nobody here, so we can check it out. If you want to take a shower, 
it costs you 50 cents for three minutes. Good to know. Bring some quarters with you. Or at least some dollar bills. All right, let's go see some more stuff. McGee Creek State Park. Man, it is so windy. That's the courtesy dock. It is handicap friendly. Courtesy dock and a boat ramp. I don't know what that is over there. It looks like a road. If you gotta go potty and you're down here swimming, this is the day use area. You gotta climb that flight of stairs right there. I don't know if we can drive up there or not, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's go see what we can do. McGee Creek State Park. So there's the stairs that we were just looking at. It's at the comfort station. I'm curious. Huh, okay. You can actually come over here and take a shower. <laughs> so if you don't want to spend money at the, and you're in the cabins, you can come over to the comfort station above the day use area in the Patapo Loop. All right, onward, McGee Creek State Park. Look at this beautiful park. Nobody's here. Of course, it's Friday. December 5th, or January 15, 2021. The Patapo Loop area. Check this out. Of course, right now, these are not... This is not prime real estate because that north wind is so cold. But look at this. Beautiful. I bet during the summer, that's just gorgeous I should have done a little more research before picking a site because of course anyway the top of loop I like it let's go see what else there is to see so this area of McGee Creek State Park is called the Buster Height area Buster Height Landing, named in honor of James Buster Height, who was born 1920 or April 25th, 1905, at Soper, Indian Territory. Anyway, this is the day use area we're exploring. So, Mike and Christy of the Sunset Seekers, on their visit to McGee Creek State Park gave us a little insight as to some of the facilities and I gotta I gotta say these are these are definitely different the question is though um where's the door <laughs> I guess you're supposed to so that's, that's the door right there. <laughs> when you gotta go. McGee Creek State Park. It is very chilly, windy. All right, as we can see, this lake is, it's prone to getting really high. Looking at the poles here on the courtesy dock, this lake fluctuates a lot. There's your boat ramp. All right, let's go all the way back up. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Oh. All right, so if you're going out to McGee Creek State Park to camp out, 
and you need some firewood, you don't have to buy it in town. There's a gentleman that has got his little stand set up here on as your the gate's like right up there. So if you look for this big gate right here, and it's you know it's the honor system, but it's a heck of a price. Ten sticks for five dollars. Buy it where you burn it. All right, let's go see some more stuff. I'm seeing a lot of this in, in the Oklahoma, in, in the parks in Oklahoma, and that is the backward, backward campsite. And this mainly because they have one-way streets. So on this loop, if, if you want a little more privacy, you're going to want to be on the inner loop. So if you have a small rig, that'd be great. But if you got a, a longer rig, it wouldn't work too well. This is site number 17. And it is indicative of the inner, the inside loop campsites. Hey, you could fit a, a 30, I could fit Ms. V in here. Not a problem. But you'd, you'd have a little more privacy on your patio instead of watching everybody go by. Everybody in your business. You know how it is. You've been driving across the country. Kids are in the back seat asking that question that you've come to dread. Are we there yet? Even though the car's still moving, they're asking that question. But anyway, when you finally get there, when you get here, and you want to give them uh, an energy release, but you don't want to take them down to the water, well, just bring them up here to this fabulous play structure and let them burn off some of that pent-up energy. This is actually rubber mulch, so they can throw each other around, and they'll bounce right back up. This actually looks like an American Ninja course for the small ones. You're not, you're not going to find Dude RV getting on that thing, but it looks fun. McGee Creek State Park. They say that Bigfoot's in these here woods. Since there's not a whole lot of people, maybe we'll get lucky. Meanwhile, if you got a family reunion coming up, and you gotta do the COVID-19 social distancing, McGee Creek has an outdoor covered group pavilion, great big old cooker. And they even have a couple of benches where you can sit back and relax. Although I don't recommend the group outdoor group pavilion when the wind is blowing out of the north at 20 miles an hour. It's a bit frigid. There you have it, the fishing pier. And man, oh man, is it windy down here. No idea how deep that water is. All right. Let's go see some.
I've really come to I really come to appreciate the Oklahoma State part actually all the campgrounds in Oklahoma that I've been to have got fantastic handicap friendly sites. I'm not sure what the number is. But look at that. Perfect sight. I don't think it's a full connection though. I don't know if I have any full connections in McGee Creek State Park or not. I'm ready for the wind to stop blowing. All right. That is site number 25. So if you need a handicap site in McGee Creek, McGee Creek State Park, number 25, it's a good one. So McGee Creek State Park, my mouth is getting cold, hard to talk. McGee Creek State Park actually can accommodate the large RV as well. But man, look at that handicap site right there. That's a good one. All right, back to camp. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, I don't wanna have to get mean. Howdy. Good morning. Well, that brings us to the end of our visit to McGee Creek State Park in Oklahoma. Give you a little recap. I really like this park. So the only thing I really don't like about this park, there's no trails that are accessible but that's the only real complaint that i have uh, there's not a whole lot of traffic of course it, we're off season right now so that is probably not the case during peak season according to the park one of the one of the people that works in the park she said this place is is packed during the summer and, and i can really appreciate why uh, so great park great sites water access I mean what well, what more can you ask for really you know in a good good campground well that brings us to the end of our visit to McGee Creek State Park in southeastern Oklahoma I sure hope you enjoyed our little visit this is definitely a park worthy of you coming to pay a visit i would I'll, i look forward to coming back for those of you who have been following along thank you so very much i'm deeply honored for those of you if this is your first visit to dude rv please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well i'd like to say thank you to my patrons on patreon thank you very much here here's to you for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I do what I do. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>